Hi, I'm Norm Norlander. I'd like to share with you my version of an extended body mayfly tied with a Norvice. Now, utilizing the spinning capabilities of the Norvice, we can create a realistic profile of the mayfly's extended body. This pattern has proven not only to be very effective, it floats quite well and is remarkably durable. Now, utilizing the same techniques and the same materials, we can tie quite a variety of mayflies, ranging from these large hexagena through our western drakes, calabatas, all the way down to our little blue wing olives. I think you find these flies really do fish well. Okay, now let's get started. For this demonstration, I'll be doing a size 14 calabatas done. Now the hooks that we're going to use will be a small short shank dry fly hook or in this case I'm actually going to use a light wire scud hook, size 14. The thread that we use will match the body color of the fly, uh, in this case it's an Adams gray 6 odd thread. The tail, I'm going to use some moose hair. It makes a wonderful tail and that's been cleaned and stacked so it's ready to go. Now the body itself, we're going to be using some polypropylene dry fly dubby number of different brands. Uh, this is about the right uh, color, which is a, again an Adams gray. We're going to hold that body together. The extended body will be glued together using a water-based head cement. be a parachute pattern, so we're going to post up using some polypropylene yarn. We'll take just a little section of that yarn to use. And then the hackle itself, of course, will be a, a size 14. In this case, it's kind of a brownish grizzly color. Uh, I think it'll turn out just great. Okay, we've got our materials chosen and now we're ready to go. Okay, now let's get started. First part of the operation is going to be to build the extended body itself. Let's replace the fly that we've had in there with a needle. I've got a sewing needle here that has been bent over. You can see the end has been heated and then bent over so it doesn't break. Set the needle in the vise so that the needle itself will project just like the shank of the hook would. That will pretty well center it because we're going to use that to build our body on. First uh, take a little bit of our dry fly dubbing and take just a small portion of this, just a little tiny bit, and we're going to spin this onto the needle itself. You can see how you can catch a few threads. That's all it takes. Okay, next I'm going to take about three strands of moose hair. We use three because uh, typically our western mayflies have either two or three tails. Okay, I know fish can't count, but fishermen can, so why not use three? Okay, there's our tailing material. You're going to let that project roughly a body length past the tip of the needle. Fold the dubbing over like this, and then you can spin it on. It'll catch, and that'll hold those tail fibers right where you want them. Next, we're going to build a profile of the body using the same dubbing material. We'll take a little bit more this time. And we're going to take it, start back here, and go all the way up to the tip of the needle, and then reverse and come back again. And you see how that builds up a, just about the right size and shape mayfly body. Saturate that with this water based head cement, like so. Okay to put the lid back on guys. Slide this off the needle and now the trick is you put a little artsy craftsy curve into it. About like this. This is going to simulate the shape, the curved shape of the extended mayfly. Set this down and let it dry for a while. Okay. Remove the needle and we're going to replace that with an appropriate size hook. Now you can use a short shank dry fly hook. What I like to use are these little light wire scud hooks. Let's set that in about like so. Size 14. We'll start out by dressing the hook as it were. This is where we're going to put a layer of thread starting up here towards the eye down the length of the wire. So get down here to the point, reach right into the gate keep on going. Just go back a little bit, about halfway to the bar, and then 
retreat until the thread is pretty well centered on the shank of the hook. I'm going to use one of these dry fly bodies, the extended body, just like the one we just made, except this one is dry. Tie it on a couple loose wraps like so, cinch it up nice and firm. Okay, come back. So that's been lashed onto the shank of the hook. Trim off our excess. Now at this point you might want to uh, put a little drop a zappa gap on here or maybe even some head cement. Uh, that'll make your flies even more durable. Although they, they seem to hang together pretty well. It's quite remarkable. I'm going to use some polypropylene yarn for my post and what I like to do is wrap the yarn like this around the hook, tie it in with the thread, work back to where we've lashed on that body. Just getting back the post a couple times and then around the post about three times. Okay, end up and back. There's a little bit of a divot as it were uh, right behind the post itself right in this area. So what we want to do is we want to blend in that body. I'm going to use a little bit more dubbing. Same stuff. Just gets a little tiny bit like that and tighten it up a bit. And that looks just about perfect. Okay. Work our way back so we can continue the shape of that mayfly's body all the way up to the post like this. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Now we're ready to put on our hackle. Got a hackle that's been prepared here. You notice that the quill has been stripped back roughly the distance from the eye to the post. Lash this on nice and firm all the way up to the post like so and then go around the hackle and the post a couple times end up in front. Okay at this point my hackle pliers grab hold of that little beauty and we're going to make about four or five turns. There's one, two, notice how we go under each time. Three, under, four, five. Okay, now we can preen up these hackle barbs and bring your thread over the quill very, very firmly. About two or three turns like so. Take your scissors, slide those little pointy scissors right up tight, clip that off. Now one of the neat tricks is we've taken a section of the protective cones that I put on the Norvice bobbins, cut the base off, leave that over the tube, slide it over the thread, push back your hackle and your post, it makes it a whole lot easier. Secure that with a half hitch. Take a little bit more dubbing like this, spin it onto our thread, and let's tighten it up. There we go, nice and tight. And then we can blend in the final shape of our body all the way up to the eye of the hook. Half hitch, whip finish. Again, a little drop of head cement on there would be a good idea. At that point, slide our hackle guard back onto our bobbin tube. Put it out of the way. Trim, trim this off like so. Take the trimmer post back to about where we want it, about like this. It's a wonderful fly. It really does fish well. I think you'll really like it.